All right, guys, this system is spreading. The beast system is spreading right now to multiple states and multiple stores. We have even more stores that are now implementing this beast system, and it's being reported in states all across the country. All right, they're clamping down right now, and this is going to be part of the tracking and tracing and the carbon credits. You remember that video I made last week on the carbon allowances and they're saying that they're going to ban travel to europe all this stuff going to ban flight travel li very limited flight travel all right they're setting up these zones in this new map of america this stuff's coming very soon and they're gonna start the clamp down as well with our stores with our food and it's spreading to multiple different states this is happening all over the country all right you guys are giving me reports here of crazy stuff that's going on idaho south carolina missouri all right multiple stores cvs Shoprite, kroger walmart are all implementing these dystopian policies and we are entering the future where everything is going to be face scanned and this is already happening but they are going to know exactly who you are you will be this will be attached to your digital id and your digital wallet and you will not be able to access these stores without it that's what's coming soon and it's being implemented on purpose all right this agenda is being allowed to fester crime is getting so bad we just had multiple cities declare emergency curfews all right this stuff's getting bad they're allowing crime to get so bad because in the aftermath of it they're going to say we have to track and trace everything to keep it safe same thing with the internet all right we're going to see major cyber attacks and attacks on critical infrastructure and we've already seen a bunch of them i've been covering them all the past year all right it's been crazy this past year has been insane on the cyber front all right and the way they're going to keep us safe is to only you're going to have a digital id to get onto the internet all right digital id and then they're going to say we know who this is there's no proxies there's no v, uh, VPN servers or anything like that. None of that's going to work because it's going to be tied to your digital ID. And that's the only way you can access the internet. And it's going to be clamped off, right? And it's going to be very limited to overseas and foreign governments as well. There's going to be a wall. There pretty much already is between our internet and the outside internet as well. All the stuff's coming very soon. And it's all going to be attached to your digital ID. And they're going to say that's the safety of it. And this is the tracking, tracing beast system. And we have to say no to this. We cannot accept this and not allow this. So let's get into all these stores here. You guys are giving me boots on the ground information of all these different states. South Carolina, Idaho, Missouri, different stores, CVS, Walmart, Kroger, all right, all these different stores are implementing these dystopian policies and you guys are letting me know. All right, so let me know down below too because this is important information and we need to get this information out so people can realize this is not normal. They're just normalizing it and doing this all over the place and we need to say no, all right? And we need to not support these certain stores that are doing this stuff. One of you guys, this is what you were telling me. We have multiple stories here, multiple reports this person here, Stephanie, said, We live in Boise, Idaho. My children and I walked into a Dollar Tree about four to three weeks ago and noticed a large TV screen when we walked into the store. I wasn't paying attention because I wanted to get in and out, but my oldest told me that she noticed on the screen that all of us that walked in had a red square tracking our faces and numbers above it. All right. I turned around and walked to the front door to get a second look, and sure enough, she was absolutely correct. And she said she walked out immediately, and she's not playing these satanic games. All right, no Walmart, no Dollar Tree, and anything else that goes the way of Satan. That's what Stephanie's saying, and I 100% agree. This is the beast system that they are trying to implement. All right, they're going to be scanning our faces and potentially even implantable and wearable technology that's going to be presented as miracle technology. I made a whole video on this just a few days ago. We need to say no to these systems before they are completely set up and there's no other way to buy, sell, or trade unless 
you are a part of these systems. All right, we need to say no now. We need to say not today, Satan, now. All right, we don't want this. Also, here's another person, Worry. They said, I walked into Walmart in Orangeburg, South Carolina, and I was surprised to see the entire store had, be com had been completely reorganized. I noticed that the cosmetics section had a cash register for checking out and the cosmetic section was completely sectioned off. All receipts from purchased items are checked at the door just before exiting the store. Even smaller towns like Orangeburg are now complying with these draconian measures. Quote, just as God's word predicted, a time is coming where we won't be able to buy or sell. Right? Very true. And this is at Walmart as well. This is happening everywhere. Walmart already has this facial recognition technology and the itemized. They are tracking every single thing you pick up and put in your cart, take out. Every single thing at Walmart is being tracked right here. Here's another person, Johnny from Missouri. He said, I live in small town Missouri and we have one grocery store and they have a big machine in the parking lot now that reads your plates on your car and tracks your face. This is getting nuts. We must be close to what's to come. Just, why I, just FYI, this is a very small town around 2,000 people, all right? And they're doing this stuff. They have these, they have these everywhere now, all right? Those police towers, and some of them are literally barking out orders at you. They're like, lock your doors. Don't leave any valuables in there, all the stuff. And they were using them during 2020, all right? And they were saying they were giving you orders to health orders as well all right i don't want to get into too much detail of that you know what i'm talking about but they were barking health orders at people too all right this is the dystopian future we're already living in it we're already in the middle of it and it's just it's it's incrementalism though they just do it slowly so we just accept it we just accept that they do they just gain an inch every day on us and then before you know it they're a mile they've they've gained a mile and we didn't even notice right this is how it happens and it's happening quick right that's in small town missouri right there here's another person they said here in washington i got stopped to enter today i was shocked and they said the end is near here's another person i saw a video of biometric scanning required at a portland store but they also started doing this at some airline check-ins too all right, yes, they're doing this technology in, in airports for sure, 100%. They have biometric. This is your biometric data. Your face, the skin of your face is your biometric data. This is like having your fingerprints, your palm print, your eye scan. It's your face. This is your face that God gave you, right? And they are trying to take imprints of it. And steal this data, this very personal data, and use it against you. This is just not okay. This is a system that I am saying no to. All right. Here's another person. They said, I do independent contracting with Walmart. And I have to do facial recognition several times a month in order to keep working with them. All right. So they don't even trust their own contractors. Because they're probably going in and out of the stores. All right. Delivering things moving stuff around, going in and out. So they're probably like, oh, that's our guy. That's our contractor. This guy isn't a thief. He's not like stealing or some sketchy fake contractor. They like, they're face scanning him and they know it's him going in there, delivering goods, organizing the stuff, whatever he's doing. All right. I'm not sure exactly what he's doing, but they know that's him. They know that's him at Walmart when he goes into there. This stuff's crazy. All right. And people are asking like, why are they IDing if they have the facial recognition they they have everyone's face scanned but they don't have it yet matched to an id all right they're just making a database of oh this person's good or bad this person's a thief or whatever right now right on the on the front end that's what they're doing right now but long term this data is all being stored and it's going to be linked to your digital id and people like this they know exactly who they are right they know exactly who they are in certain targeted individuals are also in these specific databases and they know exactly who they are as well and here's another comment that ties right into this all right quote i had to show my driver's license to purchase a gift card at cvs recently 
I was so weirded out when I saw the cashier take a picture of my license that I asked to speak to the store manager. I've never encountered something like this before. When I asked why they needed a photo, I was told, quote, because there's people buying gift cards for other people so that they can do bad things with it. So they even want to have a lockdown on any type of gift cards, Visa gift cards, any of that stuff, especially they're going to be tracking that and they don't want any anyone to be anonymous, right? That's why the central banking digital currency is coming. The Fed is already doing pilot programs in New York, San Francisco, all over the country. They already have these CBDC pilot programs for the U.S. dollar, right? A cryptocurrency U.S. dollar is coming very soon. And it's going to come in accordance with the collapse of the system as well. That's coming very soon. All right. They also went on to say that they were not able to use checks at ShopRite. All right. They would just not accept their checks. And they're saying that they weren't linked to ShopRite the right way. All right. So they just weren't accepting any checks at ShopRite as well. I've seen that at a lot of places actually have signs up that say we do not accept checks. All right. They've completely phased that payment system out it has been replaced by all digital and they're phasing out cash as well too all right and coins as well you remember how there were no coins for years right during this whole stuff this whole 2020 stuff there were no coins right no coins because that's part of the phasing out as well because they know that coins are going to be valuable they have intrinsic value inside of them just the metals and it's a physical currency that we can hold because we might have a situation where the digital currency is gone overnight. We have a major cyber attack. I reported on how there's over 200 million bank accounts that are at risk because they have been breached. According to CISA, they were reporting and I did some digging and it seems like about 200 million bank accounts are at risk as well, right? And that money can disappear overnight and we're only going to be left with the physical cash and coins that we have. All right. So get stocked up on these things. Silver dollars. All right. Tons of quarters. These things are going to have value. People are still going to barter and trade with money in the early stages of this. All right. And we need to resist this and make these things more popular again as well. All right. Look into trading. Look into farmers markets. Start supporting your local farmers, your local growers because you might be cut out of this system very soon. And the food itself, the products that these companies are providing are also very low quality and not good for you and poisoned half of them anyways, all right? I've made multiple reports on all the different problems with our food system and the chaos going on with it right now, right? So this is the future is creating our own systems that we don't need. We can opt out and only use the part of the system that we want to, right? Create our own systems. Here's another one here. They said, I worked on AI cameras for Kroger. There are cameras in every aisle in Kroger watching the stock of items in each row and reporting inventory directly to employees. Most people don't realize it, but those button looking things on the shelves are actually cameras, right? So that's another thing that I, uh, forgot about too and I actually used to work in a grocery store for years and years I worked in a grocery store as well and this is something that I didn't even think about because this technology wasn't available when I worked in grocery stores and they are tracking the inventory as well for the employees right they know exactly what's on the shelf oh there's 20 cans of soup over there now there's only two it's probably alerting the employees get over there fill up that soup right they're they're tracking everything and this guy says he works on the AI cameras. I, I believe this 100%. This makes sense. They're already tracking. I've done multiple videos showing the stuff, showing Walmart employees, showing the tracking at self-checkout and on customers. But it makes sense that they have a back-end for their employees as well and are alerting them and probably tracking the employees as well and making sure there's no funny business going on with them. All right, so all this stuff's happening now. And we need to say no. We need to say we do not consent to this. And I know 99% of you, 99.9% .9 of you agree, all right? And we need to be creating our own systems, growing your own food, learn how to can, 
learn how to make cheese, learn how to make butter, uh, learn how to make tools, all right? Learn how to hunt. And all these skills are going to be extremely valuable. Learn how to fish, all right? I've been fishing a bunch since I've been down in the south again, all right? I love fishing. Very valuable skill. If you can catch your own fish, if you can hunt your own food, if you can grow your own vegetables, all these things are going to be extremely valuable. And then you can barter and trade with other people that have other skills and other talents and valuable things to barter as well, right? This is the future is going back to these basic systems, all right? So please hit it up for me down there to help get this video out. People need to know this is boots on the ground stuff coming from you guys, all right? This is all these were reports from you guys, the listeners. This is a community and I appreciate that. I appreciate the intel that you guys give because this is a network. We're like a giant brain seeing all this stuff and getting all this information out. And then other people see it. It changes the way they think. This this stuff creates rippling effects. All right, This stuff's real and it's creating real change. And we can stop this stuff. We can say no to this. And we can. the tide is turning. Tide is turning on a lot of things right now. And we need to stand firm stand strong and we can push back on this as well right so say no boycott these stores tell these stores you don't want this stuff all right so please hit it up for me down there i really appreciate that i hope you have big blessings for your life and your family and i hope you have a big old blessed day